American school system doesn't teach you shit for life, for life skills. But thank God I can recite A squared plus B squared equals C squared. Welcome back to Parkour Helix 2, a Minecraft parkour map. Um, shoot, we're on level 14 of 60, so we're doing AO. What? That's kind of weird. So we're doing AOK. -okay. So I think I promised a... Last episode, I think I promised an opinion on the American school system. And well, as somebody who survived it, it was kind of meh. Ooh, this is going to be tough. Also, I just I just noticed a comment on one of my videos that uh, so to run I do the I double tap the W. That's just how I've always done it. But then somebody commented, you know, that's the old school method of doing it, and you know, it, it struck me as maybe not something as I'm trying to find the right word for it. Not something odd, but um, I I know I've always said that I I I haven't, you know, I jump. Where am I going? A second i don't know where i'm going so uh, subscriber commented that's the old school method of doing it but it struck me as it just struck me as weird or it was weird to me that you know that double tapping the w was an old school method of doing things uh, for me you know i you know i've always done the double tap as my as my w the reason why that struck me is just so odd was I, where am I going here? Is when I picture old school Minecraft, I picture like your Paul Soros Juniors uh, giving like the tutorials on how to do Minecraft and uh, things such as that. Not, uh, you know, it, we've it's kind of weird. We've reached a point where when I started Minecraft is now considered an old school Minecraft version. Shit. Shit, 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 shit. There we go. And that just struck me as odd that, oh my god, I'm getting old. I was like... It's like, damn you for pointing that out, young fella! But at the same time, it's a good tip. Wait, where am I going here? Hang on, I need to tell myself again, I think. Thank you. I made it here. Do I need to make this jump? No. Oh, I need to go here. Aha! But that just struck me as, oh my gosh. I know I've said that I've been playing Minecraft a long time, but I would have never described me playing Minecraft as old school. Or like I've been playing an old school way. And that just made me feel, like, old. Probably for no reason. But it was, I don't know, it was like a revelation for me. Like, my god, I have been playing Minecraft forever. And I just, and that was like my crisis I was going through before uh, recording today. Uh, I, I don't remember who posted it, but a uh, super cool dude, always interacting on videos and stuff. But it, it struck me that, oh my god, I'm doing shit old school. How fun is that? But anyways, I digress. So I think I promised that, like, I would, for some reason, because for some reason I think my opinion is valuable, I really don't. But, uh... So the American school system, right? So I survived many years of the American school system, and I wouldn't say the American school system quite broke me, but damn near. I think I got out with only minor anxiety problems. No big deal. But, uh, so the American school system, I believe, 
puts too great of an emphasis on on grades. And I wouldn't even say it puts an emphasis on... I would say it puts too much of an emphasis on grading. And it's not... And you're not graded on your ability to really understand the material, but memorize it and regurgitate it. Where is, where is this going? Am I just going in a great big... Apparently I was going the right direction. Congratulations, you've made it to stage 20. Fun fact, prepare for an absolute shocker of a fact in game 20 questions there are in fact what congratulations you've made it to stage 20 fun fact prepare for an absolutely shocking shocker of a fact in game 20 questions there are in fact 20 questions what wait oh shoot What? I think the countdown's wrong in here. Oh, because I set the countdown off multiple times. Okay. All right, here we go. I hate parkour where I'm timed. Right again. So anyways, yes, I don't like the American school system. Like, it's great that we're going and getting education, but I think the American school system is going about it all the wrong way. So for one, you know, they're talking about, you know, standardized testing. Well, shit, people who can't take tests for shit are going to definitely suffer from that. I believe that people try to make too many decisions about the school system without, like, talking to the people that have to suffer through it. Like... Students and shit, we should get some input on the American school system. And honestly, I, I think uh, majority of us would, you know, do away with school. It, you know, school's a great idea and all, but it's definitely way too stressful. Like, I, you know, high school, they're like, best years of your life. Like, no, I didn't start having fun in school until I got to college and was actually kind of studying shit that I wanted to. And I also hate that, you know, they, the American school system doesn't teach you shit for life, for life skills. But thank God I can recite A squared plus B squared equals C squared perfectly. Shoot, so close. Uh, perfectly without missing a beat. Like, they, my school was really nice in that it had a required personal finance class, but that still didn't teach you how to apply for loan. It was more or less, you know, how to balance a budget. Although mad respect for that teacher, you know, he was trying to teach, you know, real life, real life lessons to us kids. A uh, guy's name was, well, it's best not to uh, uh, talk about, you know, actual people's names, but uh, mad respect for that guy. I had nothing but the utmost respect. Actually, really fun story about this guy. He was a Gulf War veteran. Um, he's being monitored, you know, he, and he's had all manner of like odd jobs. He's like a furniture salesman at one point. But uh, he was a he was a Gulf War veteran. Uh, he's he was kind of he was a little bit on the shorter side. I would say he was about five six, five seven, shorter compared to me. I I in high school was about five eleven. Uh, after high school, I I shot up to about uh, six foot one. Nailed it. Six foot one, six foot one and a half. I'm kind of in that uh, height range there, but uh... oh shoot! So this guy, so so um, one day he was just like kind of standing in the hallway, you know, teachers stand in the hallways in between, you know, classes and shit. Uh, nothing completely unusual there, but uh, suddenly a fight broke out against these two big football players, and. Uh, we, the one guy, we, we swear, the dude, like, went into a roid rage. The one guy in the one fight. So this little teacher, this little 5'6 teacher is going up against, like, these 6'2", six, 6'3", six, gorillas. Now, keep in mind uh, what I said earlier. Like, he was a, he is a U.S. veteran. Uh, he was part of the armed forces and stuff. And, uh, again, Gulf War veteran and all. This dude does, like, the manliest thing ever. I hope I was supposed to go that way. 
He literally puts this guy in a bear hug. This giant 6'3 dude in a bear hug. And just stops the fight. What the hell? So this teacher is like a certified badass. And I have nothing but the utmost respect for him. And he was a really good teacher too. He may not have been the best teacher I had, but he was definitely the most fair teacher I've ever had. Uh, nothing he ever did was, I would have considered, like, unfair. I, uh, what was the one thing he did for us? There was, there was a test question that we all, that tripped up, I'd say, the vast majority of us. That I, that I, yeah, I would say tripped up the, uh, ooh, is that a shortcut? Hold on. No, it's not a shortcut, or is it? Eh, oh, whatever, it doesn't matter. There was a test question that tripped up, I would say, the vast majority of the class. And he was like, you know what? Because it tripped all of you up, here's what we'll do. Uh, the, we'll, uh, what was it? I think he ended up just making it an optional test question. Yeah, he ended up making it just like a bonus point. Anybody who got it right got a bonus point, and for the rest of us, it wouldn't count against us. And, you know, I would sometimes leave class early, you know, with his blessing, of course. Because, you know, I finished all my work and, like, he didn't care. Again, because I, I, I tried to be a diligent student. My senior year, I more or less kind of pulled my head out of my ass and uh, started applying myself a little bit more. I wouldn't even say I was applying myself more. I was just kind of getting... I was applying a, a minimum amount of effort to a... Uh, maximum result. Or something like that. But anyways. Uh, super awesome teacher. Super fair. You know, if we didn't bullshit him, he didn't bullshit us. And I respected him for it. And he was super smart, super intelligent, uh, super personal, super personable. Uh, like I said, armed forces, com armed forces veteran, so super badass. This is a really just generally all-around good teacher. And I, I must say, at my high school, what am I hitting? I had a lot of that. I actually had a lot of, I would say, out of all the teachers I had, there was maybe one or two I just did not like. Uh, you know, they, the, uh, I liked my, my English teachers were okay. My, there wasn't really like a teacher that I would say that I disdained with a huge passion my uh actually what's my uh my we had this one technology teacher that we got brought on junior year uh to replace a retiring teacher His name was uh, again i can't really say without permission but uh super super cool teacher uh so he basically started teaching all the electricity classes all the programming classes Oh, respawn point set. What? Oh. A super just awesome teacher. You know, I, I've come to find out after the fact that the guy is actually like a wealthy, kind of a semi-wealthy uh, business owner. And he basically only did teaching for shits and grits. Uh, that teacher, I, li I pretty much credit him for ending up in the career that I did. Like, I would have never ended up in my career and been sent on the path that I did without him. You see, um, he he got me into he kind of got me into electrical work. So we were doing stuff with uh, small cir small circuits and stuff like that. I really didn't grasp the programming languages. We were using Arduinos at the time, and uh, to this day, I still really I have a passing understanding of the C language because I I did do like Visual Basic and things. So I have a, a, I would say, a passing familiarity with uh, with C programming. And the Arduinos, I don't remember if they use C programming or something or something similar. I think they use C or something that passes for C. Anyways, doesn't matter for the story. So I wanted, I ended up wanting, I ended up. Uh, 
I was going to go to school to be a fireman, believe it or not. Um, which is, you know, all right. You know, fireman, a noble profession. Uh, both my parents were uh, firemen. You know, as far as I was concerned, I was going to follow in the family. Ooh, I like that. I was going to follow in the family footsteps, you know. Uh, you know, uh, you know kind of do that whole civil servant thing. Both my parents were firemen. Uh, my older sister is a police officer. Wait. I made a wrong jump. Uh, both my parents were firemen. My grandfather was in the armed forces for many years. Uh, my sister was a police officer. I wanted to be a fireman, kind of following the family legacy of... of uh, kind of civil service. I ended up going to the... Where the hell am I? Oh, this way. I ended up even going so far as to go to the local technical college to, like, the welcome day, as they called it, to, you know, kind of look at the program and what would be taught. And, uh, and uh, well, long story short, I'm not a fireman. Where am I going here? Oh, I think I'm going here? Nice. Uh, so I wanted, to be, I wanted to be a fireman, right? And, uh... I think I'm going here. It must be. Oh, because then I go here and then there. All right, nice. So I wanted to be a fireman and shit. I uh, went so far. I got a scholarship for it. Um, I went so far as to go to the... Uh... Wait, what? I don't get it. Why am I? Oh. What? Why is this like, why are you like this? Oof. Man, I need to stop story time here. I need to focus. Oh, I don't like this. I really don't like this. This puzzle kind of sucks. Wow, why am I... So I need... So wait, I still need to land like on top of the pole? I think so. Oh, I get it. I'm just gonna... Every time I get to one, I'll basically just hold shift. I'm sorry, like, I'm going to derail my story here because I'm going to kind of focus here. Those can't be, it can't be cheesed like that. So this is where I'm going to accrue all my deaths is this stupid puzzle. In a minute, I'm about to create my ass out of here because this is ridiculous. This is bullshit.
I have died over 33 times on this part. And this is derailing my story, my gameplay, my fun. Fuck. I was really liking this parkour map up until this one. Yes! Man, that was satisfying. Anyways, so I went to the local technical college to, uh, you know, they had what they called welcome days. You know, go to the program, meet the instructors and shit. And, uh, you know, when I, when I went there, you know, a little personal thing about me, I hate the sight of blood. I once cut my hand open and uh, with a pocket knife once trying to open up some mud mats that I got for Christmas and I nearly fainted. I like pat I like damn near passed out on the kitchen floor. But anyways, uh, you know they're like, "Hey, you're gonna need to know the medical side of shit." And I was like, "All right, I I knew that going in." Uh, you know, and what really got? I just went around in a circle. They're like, "Hey, you're gonna need to know the medical side of things." All right. Uh, got, you're gonna need to practice your IVs. All right, I can handle that. I don't like needles another thing about me i don't like needles they're like but it won't be too bad oh and your classmates get to practice ivs on you like the hell they do and i basically like nope i'm giving up on my dream all because of uh IV, all because like hey your classmates are gonna practice uh practice ivs on you the hell they are I'm not letting people practice IVs on me. You guys nuts? But anyways, so I had a, I had a few sleepless nights uh, trying to figure out, well, shit, I wanted to be a fireman, you know, throughout, more or less throughout college. I actually wanted to specialize and be one of the airport firefighters. Because, uh, I want to be an airport firefighter because, uh, one, the fire trucks for those are friggin' sweet, and they go, like, zero to 60 in a really short period of time. And I figured, you know, not much is honestly going to happen at a, at, uh, at an airport. You know, it's not every day planes are crashing, thank God. I'm already afraid of flying as it is. But, uh, where's I going with this? I was like, well, if some shit happens, at least it'll be like serious shit, and that'll kind of keep it, uh, and that'll kind of keep it interesting. But uh, so my whole high school, I planned on, I'm gonna go and I'm gonna be a fireman, just like my parents, civil service, just like the rest of my family. And you know, the whole IV thing, classmates practicing on IVs on me, it's like, nope, not interested, sorry. This is where I this is where I draw the line on my dreams. Sorry, 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 sorry. Shoot. But uh, I'm not going to do this. So uh, I ended up having a few sleepless nights in high school trying to figure out, you know, what do I want to do for the rest of my life? And I think that's forcing high schoolers. Another thing about high school is like, you know, before graduation, I had to ask permission to use the bathroom. I had to I had to beg for forgiveness if I had to pee and feel guilty about it. Now you want me to determine what I want to do for the rest of my life? Yeah, thanks guys. But uh, yeah, so I had a few sleepless nights, you know, trying to figure out what I want to do for the rest of my life. 
and I had I had joined the robotics club as part of my oops. I joined the robotics the robotics club you know, partly because I had that uh, teacher in high school partly because you know robotics always kind of interest me a little bit as a kid and you know I liked it you know we did uh, we did what's called vex robotics you know, I was the uh, lead builder on I say I was the lead builder I was the only one who built so I built the robot. I ended up just basically making uh, for our uh, for our task. We ended up making a uh, basically a front end loader. But uh, anyways, so yeah, if it, uh, I ended up deciding to go into um, industrial automation at the local tech college, all kind of thanks to that uh, that teacher. So if I hadn't have met him, I would have never gotten into industrial electronics. And Lord knows where I would have ended up today. Or industrial, no, I'm sorry, not industrial electronics, uh, industrial automation. So it's like a, a bigger picture than electronics. So it's, it's really, really a cool industry. I don't know if any of you have ever seen the TV show How It's Made, but I basically live how it's made. And I really like it. I've seen some really cool shit out there. So I'll, I'll go to all of these factories and advise them on, you know, kind of products that we sell um, and how they could help them solve their problems. But I also kind of do programming and stuff. It's what I do. When people ask me, what do I do for a living? It's very hard to tell them because I do so much. Uh, there's a lot involved with my job. You know, uh, in some parts I'm a business manager, other parts I kind of am like a marketing specialist, in other parts I'm a programmer, in other parts I'm kind of a consultant, in other parts, you know, I'm an electrical engineer. You know, my job is so many different aspects. And unless you're like in this industry, it's very hard to explain. It's very hard to explain it. I definitely like the programming aspect of my job. Um, I'm not like a computer programmer, but more or less what's called a PLC, a programmable logic controller. But, uh, you know, I'm not going to get into too much details about that one. I don't want to, you know, reveal too much about my job. And two, a PLC is a very complicated box that if, again, you're not in the industry, you're really not going to understand what I'm talking about. I keep falling off the back end of that. I need to focus a little bit better here. Hang on, I'm going to... I say I need to focus a little bit more as I proceed to fail all of my jumps. Nice, and big jump. Damn it. All right, I'm sorry. I'm going to stop talking here for just a second. All right, good. What do I keep hitting there? That's a really easy jump, and I keep beating my head on, bumping my head on something. I swear I pressed the spacebar to jump, but I did not jump. Okay, cool. There we go, looking good. 
easy jump that I end up failing. Okay, but at least I know what to do now when I get to that spot. I need to just, like, quick do it. Did you see that I stopped running there? Stopped running there, too. Misjudge that one slightly. What am I coming up? I'm coming up on 30 minutes. Alright, so I'm gonna clear through this level. What level am I on? I'm oh I'm halfway through the map. Nice. I'm gonna clear this last section of the the parkour. Then I'm gonna end the episode. Why can I not make that? You'd think I'd be having a tougher time with, like, that jump around the corner. I'm actually nailing that one. I'm kind of pleased with myself that I am. Shit. I swear, my keyboard is, like, not responding sometimes. This isn't even, like, that hard to, like, do. It's just frustrating. I stopped running there. I don't know if you guys saw that, but I did... My character stopped running again. The only reason I'm dying to half of these is because either my... A, my character doesn't jump, or B, my character stops running. All right, let's do this. Why am I not making that jump? That doesn't make sense why I'm not making that. That is a very makeable jump. Shoot. I must have brushed a wall and stopped running. Okay, I hit the jump button there. That was bullshit. Good, now the big jump. How did I make that jump? Okay, this level I'm really not liking. This level 31 I'm definitely not liking. meant to not jump that. Oh. On the bright side, I think I know how to make that jump now. Or that one off the roof of that building. Yes! Boom! And we're going to end the episode right there. Uh, thank you all very much for your support on the series, or just any of my series in general. Uh, when we come back next time, oh man, there's still a lot more left to do, but, you know, we're going to trek through it. But until then, guys, be seeing ya.